Um, it's just a pleasure and an honor to be here. Um, I always say every time I'm invited to speak anyway, um, I never take it lightly to be invited to somebody else's pulpit. pulpit. So um, I just thank God for the opportunity to be able to come and minister to you. And uh, our Pastor Prince is uh, now we consider him a good friend of ours. So he's, we had him over to speak into our leadership session um, last month. It's just a pleasure and an honor to be here, Pastor Prince and your lovely wife. I think she just stepped out. But um, thank you to you, thank you to your wife, thank you to the pa other pastors and leaders of this house, and thank you to you, congregation, for allowing me to be here. So God's opening a word of prayer. Father God, I just pray for your word this morning. I just pray, Father, that you would just be life and light to your hearers today. Father, that you would just remove, O oh God, self from anything that would go forth this morning. And Father, it will be your power, your anointing, Almighty God, that will go forth unto the hearers today. Father, our desire this morning is that hearts will be changed and lives will be different. Our desire, Almighty God, this morning is that, Lord, you will be glorified in the hearts and lives of your people. Father, we don't come together in your name by accident or by design. But Father, you have called us into your house to stand before your presence, O oh God. And Father, even as we're standing in your presence this morning, ready, O oh God, to set forth your word, I pray, Almighty God, Holy Spirit, that you will just grab hold, O oh God, of my of me, and you will just take it forward, Almighty God, and accomplish your will and accomplish your purpose, O oh God. Father, we are careful always to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. So this morning I'm going to be speaking to you a little bit about prayer because that's one of my, the, 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 something that's really close to my heart. One of the things that I find is not that we are not praying, but that I'll be just, we are not probably praying the right prayers or when, it, when we talk about strategic prayers. We are not praying for specific things in a specific way. We lay the foundation for Jesus to come. So until Jesus came himself in, the, in, the, in his person, the person of God, it says the kingdom of heaven was suffering violence. So now when we get to this point, so the kingdom of heaven was, was suffering with an intent to damage, kill or maim the kingdom of heaven. So we understand that the enemy was doing everything at his most powerful at that spe specific time, knowing that Jesus was going to enter into his ministry and accomplish the things he needed to accomplish. A Satan knew that God had a to me, hallelujah, even though I was sitting there and everybody thought that I was of no use, hallelujah, now I know that all I'm doing is being prepared to be king, it's not enough for me to be a son-in-law, hallelujah, it's only enough for me to be a king, bless the name of Jesus, oh give God some glory in this house, hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus, bless the name of Jesus, I told you it's time to stop crying. Hallelujah. It's time to know that God is going to give you a strategy. Whatever the enemy is going to use against you, that will become your testimony of where God is going to advance you. So if you cannot deal with the enemy here, if you cannot deal with a bear and a lion, how do you expect to stand in the palace, bless the name of Jesus? But you know that if you're going to defeat a Goliath that was standing on top of your mountain, bless the name of Jesus, God is saying every mountain and every hill is mine and you will possess the mountains and you will possess everything, hallelujah, because you'll be blessed in your coming in and you will be blessed in your going out. So it's not enough to be a shepherd boy anymore. It's not enough to clean toilets anymore. It's not enough to even work for a boss anymore. But now you need to be running the company. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless God. Oh, Pastor Prince, it's not time to, for us pastors to stop being attacked. Hallelujah. But when the people should will be running to church now. Hallelujah. It's now time to see and stop to be begging people to come to church. Hallelujah. When they hear the word of the Lord, they need to come running to church. The presence of the Lord is going to be so strong, hallelujah, that they will hear, they won't even, no one will even talk to them, but they will hear through the presence of the Lord that God is living in their house and I need to go there for victory, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just need to speak to anybody who wants to start a business, hallelujah. 
If you want to start a business, you need to just remember, if you are willing to defeat your bears and your lions, God will raise you up. If you are willing to stand before a Goliath, God will raise you up. You know, it's time for Christians to stop accepting second best. It's time for us Christians to stop saying, you know what? It's okay. It's not okay anymore. It's not okay to be used and abused anymore. It's not okay for people to trample over us. It's not okay for people to talk about us. It's not okay for people to abuse us. Hallelujah. Because now we are standing up and we are becoming violent. We are saying no more to that devil. You are using that person against me, but no more more devil because I stand in the power of the almighty God I stand in the power and the authority that God has given me so anything you're going to bring against me you will be defeated in the name of Jesus hallelujah oh bless God hallelujah hallelujah Jesus bless the name of Jesus I'm still good (laughs) hallelujah bless the name of Jesus Bless the name of Jesus. If you're struggling in your workplace, hallelujah, you need to go do some warfare in that workplace. You need to now take the, take, take the battle to where it's supposed to be. Don't let the enemy come to you. Tell the enemy, I'm standing up. I've got the armor of God, as he says in Ephesians 6. I'm not wearing Goliath's army, but armor, but I have the, I have the shield of faith. I have the helmet of salvation. I have God's truth wrapped around me. I walk around with the gospel of peace. I have the word of God, which is my sword. And now I stand before you, Satan, knowing that you are defeated foe. You will not prosper in my life anymore. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. And your children, if your children are not serving with you, don't talk to them about Jesus. You need to pray and fast and tell God to talk to them about himself. Tell God to bring revelation to them about who he is. Tell God to show them who he is. Tell him to show up whatever he needs to do in their lives. It's time to stop talking. It's time to start doing. It's time to stop sitting back. But it's time to change your position. Hallelujah. It's time to start changing your position. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father. Father, Father. Oh, yes, Father. There's some of you here. I don't know where you've come from, but I know there's a few of you here. I don't know how many there are. Wherever you've come from, you are at the top. But now you've come here, you find yourself, I think these are for migrants. Because you find yourself in New Zealand. And you think, Lord, what happened to my life? But God is saying, if you can defeat the Goliath, you can stand as a king. If you can defeat the Goliath, you can stand as a king. That's what God's promises are for you. That's what God is telling you today. You can defeat if you defeat the Goliath today. You know what? Goliath in all his splendor, With all that armor that he had, he was defeated by one stone. And the very place that he didn't protect himself was his forehead. And that's where he was defeated. That very place. The enemy has a place of defeat. God just needs to show you the strategy. For every every bit of money that you've sold into the kingdom of God, and you cannot, you have not been seeing it, You've been operating at a loss. Whether you're working, whether you're in a business, you need to recall your benefits. You need to tell the enemy, this belongs to me. God says that he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. God says he will bring restoration. This word restoration has been in my mind for about a few days. I don't know if someone needs restoration here. I can pray for you. My message is a little bit longer than this, but I just feel that I'm going to stop here. But if someone needs restoration, um, if, uh, can I pray for people, Pastor? Sorry. Um, okay. Um, you can come up. I'm going to pray for you. If uh, the young man on the keyboard, if you could come and just play something just really softly. <clears throat> you know, God's been bringing this thing about restoration. It's time for the body of Christ to be restored to our rightful place. It's time for that. We've been struggling and striving for so long. 
I just, I just feel, you know, I just feel burdened in my spirit. All the crying, especially, especially the men and women of God. I see, I see that all the burdens you've been undertaking, it's just so hard. But it's time to, for God to bring us back to our rightful place. And while we are becoming violent with the Goliaths in our life, God is saying restoration must come. If we are becoming violent and saying we are stepping out in faith, then God must become violent. Um, <clears throat> there is a story about Samson. Uh, sorry, if I can just ask someone to. It says that Samson, when he was coming from walking on, his, on the road, he says a lion came and roared at him. It doesn't say the lion attacked him. It says the lion roared. And he says, as soon as the lion, he says, when the lion roared, he says he took that lion and he, and he split that lion in two. So when the enemy is don't wait for the enemy to bring so many attacks. You need to recognize his strategies. When he just starts to roar at you, you need to make sure you break him in half. You need to make sure you destroy everything about him and his works. You need to make sure you do that. If you start doing that, you will see something happen. You will see your benefits coming back. All the things that you lost, you will see them coming back. So restoration. Is there anybody else who needs prayer for restoration? I can pray another. Because I've got a few more minutes. But I can do another altar call for anyone who just wants specific prayer. But this is just for restoration. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Bless you, Jesus. Uh, the gentleman with the white shirt. Yes. Um, do you have a business, sir? I just see a business. I don't know what type of business. I don't know what you do. But I just see a business. I don't know if it's a desire of your heart. But I see it coming. Um, so just make sure you fight your Goliaths. Anything the enemy wants to stop. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name. Hallelujah, God. I worship you, Jesus. For those in the front, raise your hands. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. I just, um, can I just uh, ask everyone just to close their eyes and just stretch forth their hands on these people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Been just going through so much, too much. I see it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God. Oh Father. Haya besika ya masanda raba shike ya baba. Haya mera sanda raba shike ya baba sanda raba shike. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father God, I just lift those burdens in the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare that they are lifted, oh God. I declare, Father God, that all her benefits, Father God, are coming back right now. I declare, Father, that restoration, Father God, is even making its way to the very bones of her body in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Restoration come. Restoration come in Jesus' name. I declare open heavens over her life, oh God. Everything has seemed like brass. Everything has seemed closed. But I'm declaring right now. I declare it right now. That there are open heavens over her life and over her head. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, I just pray for my sister, oh God. Oh Father. Oh Jesus. God says you've got a loud voice. You've got a loud voice of praise. You've got a loud voice of praise. Don't let the enemy stop you or keep you back from your praise. Hallelujah. Don't let him keep you back from your praise. You just keep praising. Hallelujah. 
Shikaya Baba. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, I just pray for our brother here today, oh God. Oh, bring restoration. So many years. So many years of hurt. So many. So many years of disappointment. But as he stands before your presence today, Father, show him how much you love him. Show him, show him how much you've been taking care of him, oh God. I just pray for this business, Father. I pray the foundation of this business as it is found in you. I pray, oh God, that you will just bring increase right now. Father God, contracts, wherever they need to be, oh God, wherever they are hiding from him, oh God, I pray for a release right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, almighty God, for that release of funding that he's been requesting, oh God. I pray, Almighty God, for a mighty release, O oh God, upon this business, Father, that will not only be in New Zealand, Father God, but will go around the world, Father, because I know it will glorify you, O oh God. So, Father, I thank you for the business. I thank you, Father. It's covered with your blood. Whatever he needs for it, O oh God, supernatural provision. I'm praying for supernatural provision. If, oh God, no one will heed the call to help him, send your angels. Send your angels, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, 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 Lord. Father, I pray for restoration. I pray for whatever the enemies try to steal from him, oh God. I pray for, oh God, even the attempts on his life, oh God. They will not prosper in the name of Jesus. I pray, almighty God, that Lord Jesus, you would rise, raise him up, oh God. Raise him up even to a greater place than he was before, oh God. Oh, brother it is well with you it is well with you so okay it is well with you father god i pray for this man father i see his heart i see his heart of oh god oh father he desires to serve you in any way he can he desires father he's been telling you oh god that everything belongs to you and father god see your servant's heart and do what you need to do in his life, oh God. See his heart, oh God. Oh Father, he desires to serve you. You said, who will I send? And he's saying, Lord, send me. Send me wherever you need to send me. Whatever you need me to do. Help him, Jesus. I pray for his business, Father. That Lord Jesus, you have showed him the picture. And I pray, Father, that he will have a testimony of the reality. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Cover it and I cover his life. I cover his family, Father. Wherever they are, I cover them. Almighty God, with your blood. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. What is it that you need from God? Father God, I thank you for this young man's life. I pray, Almighty God, 
that as the desires of his heart has been made known to you, bring supernatural provision, supernatural provision that will make you make a way in his life, O oh God, for him to go home. you for this lady father I pray almighty God that the desires of your heart father the desires of her heart will be made known to you and I pray father God when you see the desires of her heart that father you'll bring them to fruition oh father as they are in accordance with your will and in accordance with your word I pray almighty God that father the person that she cries out to you for as someone that's dear to her heart that she cries out constantly, oh God. But I pray, Lord, give her a strategy. Give her a strategy for this person, oh God. And let there be a testimony, I pray. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Anointing for business today. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for restoration to come to this man's life. I pray, Father, that whatever he did before he came to know you, the enemy is trying, Almighty God, to bring to remembrance things that are not of you, but they are cancelled out by the blood of the Lamb. They are cancelled out. And Father, as his life is sown in you, I declare, Father, that Lord, you will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, Almighty God, upon his life. And Lord Jesus, that was the desire of his heart for a business, oh God, that you would just make a way. You would just make a way, oh God. In Jesus' name. I pray a blessing upon your life. Hallelujah. I pray a blessing. Supernatural favor. Supernatural favor. But don't forget God. Hallelujah. God's going to raise you up. But don't forget God. Okay. Thank you for my sister, Father. Father, she desires promotion. She desires promotion. Father, you said promotion, Almighty God, doesn't come from men, but comes from you. You will raise one and you will bring one down. Say, so if there's one Father that does not serve you, Lord, that needs to, oh God, be moved out so that she can come in then you do your way. You have your way, Father. You do what you need to do. But Lord, promotion must come. Promotion must come. I declare it over her life. Whatever kind of favor she needs, Father, I pray for that favor, release of that favor. I pray for it, O oh God. Hallelujah. Favor, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. You cry for your children. You're always crying for your children. God's going to take care of them. You don't have to worry and stress all the time. You just have to release them into the hands of God. God, will, God is able. He has big shoulders to carry them. He's able. Father God, I just cover her children with your blood. I cover her life. Oh, God. And whatever need is represented besides her children, whatever other needs are there, I pray, Lord Jesus, take care of them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, this lady desires a, a life of prayer. She desires to see signs, wonders, and miracles. She desires to see, oh God, into spiritual realms, Father God. And I pray, Father, that, Lord, you train her, you prepare her, and you help her with the bears, the lions, and the Goliaths that she's going to face. She's called to be an intercessor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for her life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for this mother of this church. 
thank you father that she has broken down if barriers father she doesn't allow anything to stop her like david david was a man after your own heart she's a woman after your own heart she desires to serve you in whichever way she can and i pray father god for the things that she may have forgotten for the pain in her life father that she thinks so god that it's just brushed aside but you know and you see and you take care of father so i pray for healing and i pray for restoration in her life in jesus name hallelujah thank you jesus i'd just like everyone to stand as i just close and that hand over to back to uh, raise your hands with me hallelujah i'm going to pray for an anointing of violence not to beat someone else down but to come against the enemy father today i release that anointing father that every person with raised hands here father god they will they will become violent for you in every area they need to whether it's praising you whether it's worshiping you whether it's with their finances in their jobs with their children in service almighty god in prayer father god in faith father whatever it is almighty god i release that anointing over this place in the name of jesus i release it over this place in the name of jesus i declare that every person here father they spirit are made alive almighty god with your power and your authority to do exploits for you that they will not sit back anymore oh god but they have arisen for you in the name of jesus today father god marks a new day in their lives oh god it's a new beginning like david oh god and lord for every seed that they're going to sow oh god they will stand before kings oh god and they will rule and reign as you have called us to rule and reign so father i thank you for this time i thank you for your word and everything that you've done and as i hand back over almighty god i pray a blessing upon the man and the woman of this house and i thank you for the opportunity in jesus name amen Oh hallelujah put your hand together to Jesus more to Jesus more to Jesus more to Jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus Just get seated thank you Jesus is anybody blessed today are we blessed today okay